Hi, Kyle Grossmiller from Pure Storage. And in this demo video today, we're gonna to show you a couple different options to get run command set up for use with AVS and Cloud Block Store. Um, really, there's two supported options available today. One of them is using our Pure Storage OVA, and then the other one is using a native Azure VM. We'll start with the OVA. If you've used our vSphere plugin in an on-premises world or the VMware Analytics Collector, chances are you're very familiar with this process. I just went in to deploy a new OVA template. Um, I've downloaded it locally. It is also available online. Um, this is a, a beta release, so bear in mind, not everything may look exactly the same, but it will be pretty close. So we're just going to call this one Pure VMware Cloud Appliance. And this is a very standard, typical OVA deployment. We are leveraging this against Cluster 2 in this example. You can deploy it anywhere you want inside of AVS, and we're going to deploy it against our default vSAN node. Uh, we are going to select VM Network 2, which is an NSXT network segment. And then you can see in this drop down menu, here it says VMware Cloud Plugin, but it's actually called VMware Cloud Manager in production. Uh, we'll, we're going to static IP address this particular instance. You can also use DHCP if you have a DHCP server stood up. And we're going to put in 1.1.1.1.1 as our DNS server. Um, any, anything, anything like that will work here. Uh, provided a host name, optionally use a proxy. Um, and then you can select multiple Docker IP ranges. I had a conflict, so I changed mine from the default here. Uh, with it deployed, we're going to go ahead and power it up. And again, this is a very traditional experience if you've used our OVA in the past. Once it powers up and gets an outbound internet connection and downloads what it needs, we're going to SSH into it. Uh, default username and password is pure user, pure user. You will be prompted to change that pure user password the first time you log in, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do here. And then it will boot you out, and then you do need to log in with pure user and your new password at this time. Okay, now that we're in, we can see that there is a net new command. Um, and again, this is called VMware Cloud Manager, but all you need to enter from here is pure PWSH for pure PowerShell. Uh, and what that's going to do is automate your login to Microsoft Azure. So we're gonna go ahead and use this device login URL in any supported web browser. And then you enter in a code to authenticate against that URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this URL code. enter the code, and then there will likely be an additional sign-on that I'm going to obscure since it's some personal information of mine. And however, at this point, we can see we have now successfully logged in and we are at a PowerShell command prompt. This is where this demo video, at least in terms of the OVA deployment, will end. The next demo video will show you a few common commands um, and how to use them in more detail, but here are the available commands within our custom module for CBS and AVS management. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Option two, moving along, we'll show you how to deploy this on a native Azure VM. So here I've deployed an Azure Ubuntu VM. Uh, it is in the same resource group and same VNet as CBS. It is required to have network connectivity to CBS and AVS. And the first thing I'm going to do is install PowerShell via wget. I've installed that, and now I'm going to unpack it. Once it's been un unpacked and installed, I'm going to launch PowerShell. And now I do need to load a couple of PowerShell modules manually uh, to get everything I need to be able to, to, to run AVS and CBS together. The first thing I'm, module I'm going to install is AZ for the Azure dependencies in the, in the Azure commands I need. The next one I'm going to install is VMware Power CLI. Oops. Spelled repository wrong. There we go. Fix that. There we go. We're installing all of our Power CL, VMware Power CLI stuff. And then last but not least, uh, there is a VMware, uh, or excuse me, a pure storage CBS AVS module as well that's required. And we'll go ahead and install that. That also installs our pure PowerShell SDK as a component of this. 
With everything in, now I'm going to use a connect-az account, user device, authentication, see exact same as our OVA. Um, it's just something you have to enter manually. So here's my device login URL. I'm going to pop in my code. And then as we can see here, I am now authenticated in to PowerShell and I can use the commands that we will show in the uh, next demo video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.